Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 30 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monette household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay, but first, I just want to wish you all a happy Halloween, and if you don't celebrate Halloween, then happy October 31st. <laughs> um, but I actually did a little bit of Halloween decorating for my Sims. Unfortunately, we do not have holiday seasons, really anything so far in The Sims 4 other than, you know, the base game content. So I did find some custom content and I will link it down below. It's all on The Sims VIP. Um, and yeah, so I put out some, okay, um, don't mind that. That's a glitch. <laughs> kind of goes though, kind of goes with like the whole whole thing um but i got these pumpkins right here and they're really cute and you guys know my pumpkin dilemma how i couldn't find any and uh or at least those who follow me on twitter know that i went looking for pumpkins and they didn't have any and i asked for them and they gave me or directed me anyways to squashes not what i wanted and i also gave candace a cute little halloween makeover she has this adorable halloween sweater on some black leggings um some little flats on and she even has some orange makeup going on for her and I also gave Josh a little <laughs> he looks so cute a little Halloween costume he is supposed to be a quote-unquote prep because I've ever had prep school or not prep school prep day for spirit week this is kind of what people wear so he's a prep today um and as for Jose he's an astronaut he has a costume or not a costume but a nice uniform every day that you know, does it for him. And Drake, Drake doesn't dress up for Halloween, please. He's in a really bad mood today, actually. Really, really bad mood. But it, he has school today, and then he has the weekend off. And I'm honestly tempted for him to just skip school today. But Nadine would go, and uh, I want to get Candace into the writing skill so she can write him excuses, Marvel. actually. And she's not having a great morning because she's having morning sickness right now. And Jose, you have work today, right? Yes, you do. And I think Candace does as well. Yep, she has it in six hours and she'll get a promotion. He actually needs to come out here and work on his logic skill while he has some time on his hands. Um, how about you don't go bother? Oh, I was like, how about you don't go bother your dad? He just wanted to go hug him. I'm going to be the best parent ever, I swear. I'll be like, go away, but mom. <laughs> Alright, and Josh, I mean not Josh, Drake definitely, definitely needs to hang out with uh, Nadine, for sure. Oh, and she broke it, and she's real proud of herself. I'll be real proud of yourself when you go in there and repair it. I feel bad, I'm making the pregnant lady go in there and repair everything. Oh well. Your husband needs to get his logic skill up. Look at these two. Hold on, come over here. Come over here. We're going to teach valuable lesson. No, we're going to insult him. Be like, what are you wearing today? What are you wearing? Um, and we will monkey around with him, actually. Instead of being mean, I guess we'll just go monkey around with our little brother. Oh, look how freaking ugly this is out here. We definitely need to fix that. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> Oh, I love it. That makes me so happy. <laughs> that made me like the happiest person ever. Okay, we're going to mess with him again. We're going to uh, scare him a little bit. <laughs> Look at Drake. <laughs> he loves it. Aw, brothers. Aw. I love it. I love it. We'll monkey around a little bit, too. Again. I love it. I love this interaction. Aw. We'll show off our outfit. Actually, you know, we're, we're not going to show off our outfit. Can he... Oh, we can annoy him. Let's do that. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, so that's pretty much monkey. Oh, no. He's he's hot-headed. Don't get him going. All right, we'll make a silly face. 
All right, and these two are off to school now. Oh, and he took off his costume for the day. All right, whatever. Oh, poor Candace. She's like, oh, morning sickness. All right, go ahead and clean the toilet. She's, poor thing. Really not feeling great today. She'll just clean the toilet. Just clean up a bit. She did uh, repair the shower, so thank you so much for that, Candace. And Jose, you are supposed to be at work. Go. And he's off in his astronaut outfit. How freaking awesome. Not outfit. Uniform. I'm sorry. He is a man in uniform. All right, let me go ahead and clear my notification wall. Yep. All right. My legs are so sticky right now um, because as I was putting on my headset right before I filmed this, a thing of uh, orange soda just fell all over me. It was really sad. But we're just going to go ahead and clean this all up. And she's really not feeling good today. Grime time from cleaning. Aww. But she does not have morning sickness any longer. Cool. She's just, you know, her back's probably hurting. Yeah, she's totally done. She's done cleaning for today. We're going to come over here and throw that out. And she will... What can she do? She doesn't need to improve any skills. We need a dinner party. She's really just chilling for a little while. How long does she have before work? Three hours. I wish we had a computer. If we had a computer, I would have her begin writing. I mean, we can afford one currently. So we might as well, but my thing is, I'm like, I want to save that for home improvements, but I guess a computer technically would be one, right? I think so. We could get a really nice one, but we shouldn't. <sighs> should I do it? I'm tempted, but then I'm like, we have a baby on the way. I should probably get a nursery going. Okay, you know what? That's what we'll do for now. Here, I guess, you know, I should really move Josh in over here. That's what I'm thinking. We should move Josh in here and then make the nursery that. Um, so we'll just do that real quickly. And, of course, I will renovate it more when we get our promotions today. Because, I mean, I wouldn't want this room. I don't know about you guys, but I would not want that room. And let's see what else we will go in here. I usually fast forward right through this stuff, but why not? Go ahead and just show you guys. Colors, we will do green. Actually, not green, blue. Blue. And yellow and orange. Maybe orange walls. Ooh, I actually like the orange walls. I don't know why it does that. That's really annoying. Or we can do an orange. <gasps> Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. An orange, blue, blue, and then orange. Wow. Okay. And that's that for now. We can't really... I, I mean, I'll do more on my spare time and not video time. Oh, we actually should give him some flooring, shouldn't we? And I do like carpets in the children's room. There's just something about it. I just think it looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay, cool. For blue. Now we'll just do a, a neutral color. For now, that works. And Candace, um, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and buy that computer, just for the sake of it. Not that TV. This computer right here. I guess Drake got lucky today. And we are going to come over here and practice our writing a little bit. Take on a new hobby since we completed our cooking skill. We might as well begin uh, writing a little bit. Oh, and she's feeling great. Her second trimester is in 12 hours. I'm excited to see how big she gets in this pregnancy. They usually get the same size, but, you know, I, I don't know. It's been a while since we've seen it, so I'm excited. And can we enable emotional aura? It's already enabled. Cool. So she's feeling inspired now. She wants to harvest a plant. And how is the cow plant doing? <gasps> Look, he's standing up. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to come out here and fertilize him with some basil and talk to him. This is exciting. Let's go take care of the cow plant, guys. And she has work in one hour. Okay. 
I'm excited. Look at him. Fertilize him a little bit. Just to make sure he's really grown well. This galactic marvel makes an excellent source of food, cuddles, and lifelong friendship. Become the envy of the neighborhood just by... Oh, just remember to feed it. Uh, definitely, we don't want anybody to die. Look at us talking to him. It's so cute. It's what I would like to be. If I was like a plant, I would want to be a cow plant. Really. I really, really would want to be. All right, and Candace is off to work in a couple of seconds. So I will see you all uh, when somebody gets home from work, school. I think we're going to invite Nadine today. That made no sense. It's, it's like midnight right now, by the way. I think we're going to invite Nadine over after school. So I will see you all Alrighty, then. guys, and it is officially after school. And for some reason, this old lady, summer holiday, wants to come hang out with uh, Josh, who's a child. We're going to go ahead and accept it just to see what she wants with him. I don't know why this old lady wants to hang out with like a freaking eight year old, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. We're gonna come over here and actually, we, we won't cook anything. I don't wanna burn the house down, but we'll eat some leftovers, some lobster tortellini, and then we'll invite Nate. Okay, here she is. We'll invite Nadine over, but uh, try to calm her down over here, uh, give her some, Oh, we're just going to mess with her. I'm pretty sure this is the old lady that I've messed with before, but we're just going to mess with her more, I guess. She wants to hang out. It's probably like, I want to dress up like you this Halloween, but my mom said it was too much bags. <laughs> wow, that was a lame pun. Enthused about candy because it's Halloween. Oh, and she left. Whatever. You shouldn't have come over to the house anyways. You're literally, you're probably like 70 something and this kid's like eight. Why did you come over is the real question. All right, Drake, go ahead and invite your girl over. It's been a while since we've seen Nadine, huh? So we're going to ask her on a date. Ooh, actually we'll take her out somewhere. Yeah, we can't just bring her to the house. We need to bring her. We will bring her. We should just go hang out at her house, right? No, she probably wouldn't like that. Um, we will bring her to... Hmm. We'll bring her to this park here. They do have the bar and everything here. So it's probably nice and beautiful and fun. Should have brought little uh, Josh along too. Maybe I will. He doesn't have much to do after school, so I might as well just have him come and have fun. He does need to bring a social skill up, though. So, I don't know. We will see. Okay, so here we are. And let's see. Build skill, social skill. And Drake, where is she? Where is Miss Nadine? Here she is. Here's our girl. Um, we need to socialize with our date ten times, flirt with her, of course, while being well, feeling flirty, and sit down and talk to our date. So we're gonna come over here and kiss her right off the bat. That way she feels like, oh my gosh, she really, really likes me. My redhead babies. Oh my gosh, Drake. Okay, we are going to blow her a kiss. Caress her cheek. Embrace her. Profess undying love to her. Just be little teenage sweethearts. Oh, and we got promoted to a sous chef. Oh my gosh. We now make an additional 27 simoleons per an hour, making a grand total of 131 simoleons. She has received the following bonus, 1,306 simoleons, ice box of steel, um, and a, oh, and to write a cooking book on the computer. So the writing skill and our cooking skill will come hand in hand. So that's really awesome and her next shift is on friday at 8 p.m so today today i guess today <laughs> so i'm gonna have her care for herself for a little bit i'm um, hopefully actually hold on. we're gonna come over here and sit together we're just gonna finish this date up and spend time with her 
But awesome, we got a promotion. That's a big deal. Hey. And chat with her. So we will go. Ha oh, we can kiss her. Oh, no, don't kiss her hands. We'll have to get up. No, sit back down. Sit back down, Nadine. Nadine, sit them cheeks on. Sit, Nadine. Nadine. What? Get Nadine. Nade. Mm. Okay, well, I guess I'll sit next to you here. She's like, no, let's go inside where it's, it's air conditioned. And Jose is now home from work as well. <laughs> We're on a date right now, if you don't mind. Okay, we are going to make a move. Oh my gosh. Aww. They're so cute. And we will go ahead and... What else can we do to her? Oh, he has to pee. Before we do anything with Nadine, we should probably... Oh, I did not mean to record that. Whoop. That's awkward. Uh, before we do anything with Nadine, we should probably come over here and take a waz before we pee our pants. And she'll be like, what's that smell? What's that wetness? And we'll be like, <laughs> it's nothing. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Um, That's awkward. Tell me there's a door there. Uh, no, there isn't. Really there isn't. <laughs> and he's not standing up. He is sitting down. How awkward. Nadine must feel a little a little awkward but it's all good Nadine it's all good um we need to give her a massage oh my gosh okay we'll come over here and give her a massage actually offer a massage probably gonna end the date soon I mean it wasn't really supposed to be a date it was more or less just supposed to be a meet up and just you know chill with her but you know it's all good Fimba sweet. Go ahead and give her a massage. She probably loved it. Okay, we'll just socialize with her. We'll share a secret with her, and we will uh, get to know her a little bit. Just get get to know some of her deep, dark secrets, maybe. Ooh, we've had a silver date. Oh, we're going to come over here and sit together and talk. Okay. And we will... Uh, Ask her how her day is. There we go. <laughs> Tell your date a story. Let's see. Do, do, do. Tell engaging story. There we go. Come on. Nobody move. Uh, friendly. Do, 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 do. Ask about woohoo. No. Tell her an engaging story. There we go. Oh, we've had a gold freaking date. How awesome. Oh, and we've reached the social level four. Have a deep conversation with your date. How can this date get any better? But we will. We're actually supposed to have two deep conversations with her. There's one. Let's go ahead and uh, have one more. Okay, so this date went really, really well. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and actually end it now. So awesome. Let's see. Legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. Ooh, and he's in a really good mood from just having an awesome, awesome date. So we are going to head home. Oh, and poor Candace is at work again. Pregnant. And she's working a double shift. I feel bad. <laughs> It is what it is. Alrighty, guys. I will see you guys at home. Okay, so we are now back at home. And currently, oh, he was going to go talk to his brother. But he went right to bed. Uh, Josh is the only one awake. So he's just going to work on his social skill for a little bit. Let's see. What is it right now? Social skill is a four. So we need to get another skill to a four. But I don't know what skill I want to take on. I'm kind of leading towards not so much the motor skill. But maybe... Well, the motor skill would be good for him, wouldn't it? Probably would be. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and look into getting him maybe some monkey bars or something. Um, let's see. Where are the monkey bars? I kind of forget. I have no idea. 
have no idea. Let's see, monkey. Monkey bars, there we go. Here they are, and they're, oh, they're expensive, actually. But if it's what he wants to do, it's what he wants to do. So look, at, look how nasty my backyard is. Don't mind it, please. Really, just don't. I'll actually go ahead and sell that for now. We'll repurchase it. We'll repurchase a lot. Just so much. So much right now that's just not looking cute. But it will be. I'm going to renovate uh, before the next part. So you guys will get a little sneak peek of that before the part starts. But we're going to come over here and work on our motor skill. Our motor skill. That's what it is. And hopefully Candace gets off soon because she's having a busy day at work. Busy day at work for sure. And he needs to start going to bed. Oh, you've got a... Oh, I totally messed up. You got a giant friend from hugging the oversized stuffed animal. Sometimes all it takes is a hug from a stuffed animal to make your day a little brighter. It's almost midnight, so, I mean, I wouldn't want my kid outside at midnight, so I'm going to have Josh come up here and head to bed now. Yeah, it's definitely time to go to bed. And Candace will be practically dead by the time she gets home. So yeah, guys, I will see you all probably in the morning. Alrighty, guys, so it is now morning time. And before we end this part, because I am going to end it a little bit sooner than normal because I am going to be filming another part, I wanted to show you guys the things that Candace got from her promotion. And she was actually in a really, really great mood uh, when she got home from work. She just needed to get some of these. But we did get some things, as usual. Do not mind my lights right here. Uh, we will show them outside. And let's see how the cow plant is. Still, still little, but he's getting there. So we got this fridge right here, which is worth 3,000 simoleons. Oh my goodness. Finally, a nice fridge. And this is a VIP. Oh no, he got this from his date right here. When you get a gold date, you get a VIP bucket, which looks pretty snazzy. We'll go ahead and put that in our, in our inventory for maybe a special night and a little woo night. You get what I'm saying? And then over here, we will just go ahead and sell that nasty one and put our new fridge in because it's awesome. And we will recolor it to be black or actually maybe white. Kind of like it white, even though it would kind of throw everything off. We'll do black. Okay. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this part, and I will see you all next time. Okay, guys? I love you all so, so much. Bye, everybody.